2,000 years later. Oh, wait, what's that one video I saw once and subscribed to? Man, he never made that part too. I better go search that out and unsubscribe. Okay, as you can see, there is a hole in the cannon. This is the problem. This is the reason why we have not been able to do anything more with this project. Um, when we did the casting, we did it flat, as you saw in the last video. And that's not the best way to do this. The way they normally do it is with, or vertically, in a box that's made vertically. Our box isn't going to work like that. So as you can see, this is the side that was up. Um, and there were a whole bunch of air bubbles. Um, so to, to do this right, we have to do it vertically, but um, our kiln is kind of a little bit too powerful for our current setup, and it blows fuses and whatnot, uh, so we kind of can't use it right now. Um, we tried a lot of stuff to fix this. Uh, we, we tried pouring more brass into it, but brass is so conductive that uh, it won't really flow into the brass that's cold. So we tried heating the whole thing up and then pouring brass into it, um, it still didn't really work. Um, and then our barrel shrunk and we were having all sorts of problems. That's that's kind of as close as we could get to any kind of repair. Tried welding it, tried soldering it, um, tried brazing it. Um, it's all pretty hard to do because this is such a big piece of brass and it's so conductive that the heat just wants to go away from the part you're you're trying to melt. Uh, so we were pretty unsuccessful. Uh, we really just need to redo it, but 
Yeah, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to. So that's kind of it for this project. Twelve seconds later. Ah, uh, I don't want to reload this. Stop filming. <laughs> it's gonna explode any second. Under serious pressure, I would face. Stop, stop. Enough personality for one day.